Well, as usual, things were a little bit too pricey. <laughs> For me, at least. But, it, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Over $500 for a dolly. This one was a lot more reasonable, but still. That's pretty expensive. And actually, I remember, I've already got one of those. So I went out to the shed and I found this trolley that I had from my old kayak. Fit in the scupper holes real nice. Of course, I had a feeling that it wasn't going to fit in the scupper holes on the new kayak. Well, I had gone online and I saw a design for a universal kayak trolley. So I gathered up some PVC and some foam and stuff. And I quickly transformed the kayak trolley that I had into one of the universal ones. Figured, all right, let me see how this works. It kept popping out under the weight of the, the kayak and quickly became apparent that wasn't going to work. So I abandoned that. I did think to myself it would be nice if I could take the trolley and put it on the back of the kayak. It'd be a lot easier to put it on the kayak on the back rather than try to lift it up. You can see here, uh, this is a heavy kayak without anything in it. You have to almost completely roll it over to get the trolley underneath it. Stuff was going to spill out of it and it was going to hurt my back. <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to reach it from the back. Look where the holes are. Almost in the middle of the kayak. That was going to be a pain in the neck to use a traditional trolley right there. I had the idea that I'm going to design this so that I can take this trolley and put it on the back so I can just gently lift it up, put the trolley there, and there you go. You're not flipping it over and spilling all your gear all over the place. So I set out to do just that. First step, cut a cardboard template to fit the back of the kayak. Once I had the template made, then I transferred it to a piece of wood. And then I took that piece of wood and I cut it out on the jigsaw. The edges needed a quick sanding. And there you go. Now I had a good mounting spot. I needed that too for a spacer. And now I just needed artificial scupper holes. This old fence gate was going to work just fine. So with just a little bit of measuring, and a little bit of drilling, those fence pipes would be ready to attach to the wood, which would then be ready to attach to the kayak. Here I just put screws in the top just to hold it in place was looking good. Now I had to just screw it to the kayak. Of course the handle was in the way. No big deal. 
little Allen wrench action and it dropped right out of my way. Before I put that on though, I wanted to use a little adhesive. It would fill any gaps between the wood and the kayak and this is pretty strong stuff. It might actually stick to the to the yak. Maybe it won't, I don't know, but it made me feel a little bit better. I knew it would help keep some of the water from getting behind there too. Now once I had the screws in the top, I slipped the trolley in to make sure that those pipes were lined up correctly. And once I had that all figured out, I put the rest of the screws in those pipes. Now it was time for the first test. The kayak actually rolled pretty easily. It wasn't that heavy as I thought it would be. But the pipes did flex a little bit, so it was going to need a little bit more support. So back to the shed and I found some aluminum that I had salvaged from my John boat. A little bit of cutting and banging and I was going to turn these pieces of aluminum into brackets that would sturdy up those scupper holes. It did become apparent though that I was going to have to use the big vise. And a little bit of elbow grease. So a little bit of twisting and bending and some now some final adjustments and I was going to get these brackets to fit really nice. It wasn't any kind of work to be honest, not to me. I thought it was a lot of fun. I like doing stuff like this. And before long I actually had a bracket that fit in there pretty nice. Now it was time to sand the edges. Fly back over to the kayak and attach them. That looks pretty good. My first step was to screw it to the scupper holes or the fence pipes. And then it was time to screw it to the kayak. I used a little sealer, but I actually knew that where I was going to be screwing it to was above the waterline from some old video clips I had taken. Plus I put so many screws in my old kayak, I was pretty certain these weren't going to leak. That certainly did strengthen those pipes. And once that dried, this thing was ready for a really big test. To do that test, I took the kayak fully loaded down to a launch spot that required that you pull the kayak and everything across this long, expansive lawn. I had done it with the small kayak a bunch of times. I was afraid this was going to be a little too heavy, but <laughs> it seems to be working. It was definitely heavier having the wheels at the back versus underneath. But once I got down to the water's edge, the benefit of having the wheels at the back of the kayak really came into play. Because mind you, I had all my stuff, the seat, the rods and reels and everything on top of the kayak. And all I had to do was go around the back, lift it gently, 
and the wheel slipped right out. That was a piece of cake. And these nice small wheels, this trolley system that I had from my old kayak fits perfectly in this giant new kayak of mine. So I think I got myself a winning idea. This design should work just fine for me.